Hello guys, this is uh, Ken Alengen speaking and uh, welcome to a different kind of video. This video is actually going to show you the location of all the missile expansion in the game, which means that, uh, that not only will, I, will uh, the video show you where they are, I will be also, also trying to explain how to get them, what kind of things you need to get those things and yeah 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 da so uh, yeah let us start from the beginning all right so the first one you get uh, after the first mini boss so this is actually when you acquire the missile launch missile the which uh, that makes you have five of this now. Yeah, showing the animation, and there you go with the first one. Missile launcher acquired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry if the video might be a little bit long, but yeah, I am trying to like get this cost. Oh, next one. This is the, when you get back uh, from uh, the mini boss. So, still in Konska ruins. So, you shoot down the wall that I showed you before, and you're scanning some other things there. And just jump and uh, collect uh, another one. Now, this is where you are on your way to get the uh, charge beam. I think, yeah, according to the map, it is. Uh, in the middle of the room, you see that wall there, left it open, and you get your third mission special. Oh, you can see this is, uh, yeah, this is where you uh, uh, get your more palm bombs, as you see uh, right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why am I so slow? Come on, come on. As you may already guess, this is post commentary, so uh, I just just took down pieces from my regular footage and yada yada yada. Anyway, before you leave the room, bomb that wall, roll the tunnel, and uh, collect your missile expansion right there. Uh, next one is in the room when you acquire the morph ball for the first time uh, But you will need to get back here with the morph ball bombs bomb that wall and There you have the another one And uh, let me see Oh, this is uh, So after you defeat the first boss uh, the flower type boss uh, after you get the, the various suit and uh, going along the way uh, where you get the uh, second energy tank. Yeah, so you need to solve this puzzle, which is rather easy. Uh, where you, and this is where you need to practice on your um, the double uh, bomb jump, which is uh, relatively easy to do. So yeah, after you have uh, like activated all those uh, three. Yes, uh, go in nah, and um, yeah, stop explaining. And yeah, I did a stupid mistake of jumping over it, but there we go. And the next one is in Markmore uh, uh, Caverns, actually. Uh, you uh, recognize this room. Uh, I don't know the room's name, but you will recognize it when you walk through it. Yeah, jump down and you uh, turn around and you will see this room. And you will see that little morph ball tunnel. Follow the path I'm doing with the uh, morph ball right here. Well, stick, in, stick to the right all the time. Uh, roll in here. Um, and you see, will see a blue door up there. Jumping uh, up and up and up. And uh, uh, follow this path, and you will see a uh, missile expansion right uh, over there. There, and uh, yeah. Uh, next one is uh, stealing my more uh, uh, cavens. Um, what the fuck was? Where the fuck was this? Um, I don't know, but. As soon as you come into the room, you will recognize it. 
uh, just uh, turn into Morph Ball and uh, follow this little path and uh, there you will get the missile expansion and be careful so that you don't fall into the lava and just like die this is in uh, Talon Overworld the view uh, directly after you take an elevator from Magmore Caverns you will know which elevator there is a sense you probably have used it several times go under the bridge and there's uh, your next this is actually the tunnel overworld behind your ship. You will see a little tunnel there. Go over there with the morph ball and you get the next one. Uh, next slip. And this is in the pirate base in uh, no, Pandara Drift. The, you will be needing double jump and uh, morph ball for this. Follow the path here, make sure that you don't fall off like I was closely to do um, two times there and collect your reward and next one is after the power uh, went out and you collected thermal vister you will be using your super missile to destroy that particular uh, container uh, destroying that and uh, get your missile and you will recognize this area as uh, the temple you go inside in order to, to um, uh, what was it, get your way beam. But you couldn't uh, actually get this because you didn't have uh, the, um, the super missile which is required. And you will also need to have spider ball on to be able to get this since you will be going up this track to in order uh, to get it. You see there are awesome design on the morph ball after you get the spider ball. And we collect. And this is the consequent ruins, you need the boost ball in order to get this since you see my failed attempts into uh, getting it. They just uh, do it like that and you get your missile expansion. Now in the same room, now you see this little tree with that thing. Destroy it with the super missile. Uh, jump uh, to it uh, I almost fell down there and collect uh, uh, how many ah, I lost count and this is room, same room where you get uh, the morph ball but you need to use the boost ball on the ramp there just do it and you get that uh, okay um, excuse me if I'm a bit slow in the commentary Rhea might have done some bad editing on the videos but yeah in this room and uh, I will uh, recommend you uh, do this. Oh, uh, not recommending since you uh, need a spider ball in order to do this. And the, when you get it, you already defeated a boss that has uh, poisoned water. Just use a fountain to get on the spider ball and follow it. And there we go. And uh, this is um, a room that follows uh, where you get the shards beam, where uh, you use the Bomba tunnel, go through it, and there's you know, come here. Uh, there's two of them in this room. One you saw me just get uh, by shooting a missile through there, and the second one is going up through the spine wall track. So I recommend uh, going here after you get uh, the spine wall. And this is, uh, yeah, you recognize this room as uh, a cross uh, room. Uh, yes, the, you need a double jump in order to uh, take this. But uh, there we go. And this requires super missile and uh, boost ball. But, and this is when you are on your way into getting the ice beam in uh, Consequent Ruins. So uh, you make your way to uh, Hall of the Elders. Blah, elders. Well, yeah, yeah, so you just need to wee play around a little bit. The, um, yeah, uh, activate the, that uh, bomb slot, which will reveal another spider ball track, and activate another bomb slot. The just um, keep rolling and uh, reach uh, that one, and we and up again and down up. And down and up again, and just activate that. And 
this thing is actually time you need to get into that little ball elevator <laughs> ball elevator uh, you need to get that in really in a small amount of time uh, otherwise it will just rise up and you need to activate the, the latest bomb slot again but uh, there is not as short as you think it is you will be able to just like fucking take a uh, slow walk uh, to it and yeah this is uh, tell an overworld when you take an elevator from uh, fuck what was that elevator you did uh, Konska ruins after the hall of the elders uh, area where you meet uh, the Konska ghost for the first time time uh, you should be able to get this uh, uh, right after uh, getting the ice beam just follow this path and there it is so now uh, this is uh, when you um, got the gravity suit and are on your way to the crest pirate frigate uh, which was our tutorial, uh, <coughs> tutorial area in the beginning of the game uh, I really need to, to speak properly and fuck it is pretty dark but uh, yeah just try to locate that door uh, shoot super missile through it and uh, you will get it and this is where you need to uh, jump on a invisible platform and jump over there if you have you can do this you do this uh, without having acquired the x ray visitor in order to, uh, to see it but if you're pretty unsure about your jumping abilities I recommend uh, taking the x-ray uh, this area is in uh, the face on mines so where you need to uh, scan that console uh, which required power uh, the power thing is just very very close by so yeah we have activated that and it's uh, activating the console so now um, go over there activate the console and this crane will uh, be uh, changing position <laughs> uh, fuck it you know what I mean and cross that ball over there uh, now what you want to do now is go around to the other side take this vulnerable tracks uh, I don't know why the hell a lift a crane like that has uh, a vulnerable track on it but uh, f just follow uh, that thing and you get your missile suspension and this room is oh in the room where you get uh, one of the artifacts when you uh, are uh, fighting uh, this uh, special face on uh, uh, guy you see the, the pulse, pulse beam there as is said on the scan uh, yeah, you need. In order to advance in this room, you need to uh, use uh, that uh, beam on the door right there. But what you actually can do more with this is if you turn it, you need to uh, make a really, really long turn. No, 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 no not pointing a thing at me. Uh, to there, the left area. Yeah, of the thingy right uh, where I'm going to be aiming at right now yeah that wall the going back and the um, yeah the act activate the thing again yeah destroying the wall and there you got the you are missile is mentioned so yada 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 and this is uh, at the beginning of the second basement floor uh, you will see a little explosive uh, box uh, right uh, there where I'm aiming. Shoot that off, reveal our missile expansion, and killing off two enemies in a room. <laughs> I always love to uh, do that. Uh, feeling some reward. Feels like a really good reward. And this is. Oh, fuck. This uh, is really dark. But this is in Talon Overworld when, where you're on your way to get. Uh, the, the x-ray visitor in spawnable turn just do the boost ball thing I do there uh, bomb uh, the top 
uh, there and gain the missile expansion. It might be a little bit tricky in order to get there, but just try hard enough and you will be able to get there. The uh, next one. And oh, this one. This one, in my opinion, might be uh, one of the most annoying yeah, one. You need to power bomb uh, that certain spot and uh, follow the spider ball tracks uh, that uh, I'm going to show you here. Yeah, I'm uh, going the <laughs> opposite way the game wants you to go since it's just way faster to, to uh, go there, killing all of them. Uh, but this is just in case you fall and uh, have to redo the thing you, so you don't have to like face those again. I don't bother killing those off since they are so damn easy to uh, go past. Um, the, this is uh, quite a difficult to do for the first time, but uh, not so hard after you're done with you. But for some strange reason, I failed at that. Yeah, I'm a miserable failure! <laughs> Alright, sarcasm aside. Uh, I am uh, going through uh, this uh, thing again. Uh, drop down! Drop down! I can't believe I am yelling at myself for being so damn slow. But uh, yeah, haven't we all uh, like yell at ourselves at some point? Uh, yeah, this one might be a little bit tricky to fall down. No, from since the shadow is a bit faintly, but you can see the shadow, so yeah, not so difficult. And there we get uh, our missiles back. And ooh, half the video has been gone through already. Wow. And yeah, you recognize this area as on the way to uh, get to the charge beam once again. And this one is actually uh, actually underwater. You need a gravity suit in order to get this one, since uh, you can't really double jump that high without it. it uh, next one is on your way uh, yeah, after the training chamber where the lava and the grapple beam is. Before you go through that door, this uh, plant there uh, hides a uh, morph ball tunnel. Go through there, and you get your uh, missile expansion. And if you continue that those room and you just continue the way there, you end up here in this room in this uh, part where you see the missile expansion over there and the uh, grapple the beam right up part there. Now, what you need to do is double jump out. I said you need to double jump out. Thank you and grapple uh, beam that uh, thing in the air and yeah with the um, correct timing you'll be able to take uh, you can actually do this one right after you get the morph ball bomb but the sense I was stupid enough uh, to uh, forget about this until this point <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I know how could I forget this thing yeah, so you saw me at the beginning there that you needed to go through where I point now. Where to go through that and uh, destroy the sandbox that was beneath the metal thing in order to uh, get through this correctly. So you just follow the path here, uh, bomb uh, all these sandboxes. Yeah, they are actually sand boxes. Scan them for yourself and see if you even can scan them. Uh, anyway, uh, you recognize this room as uh, the one where we got our second one. And this is just me being stupid and forgetting about it again. You can actually get this right after you get uh, the Morph Ball Bomb. So you just bomb your way up there and just get that missile suspension. Um, this one is uh, Talon Overworld. You probably have uh, seen me use this. And there... and. You can only do... There is actually two of them is this uh, same uh, clip. Since uh, I decided to gather those two at the same time. Yeah. Oh, I got damaged there by that little fucker. 
Yeah, so just uh, continue going up here. Uh, I recommend that you uh, take this to after you get the plasma beam. Uh, you will uh, see uh, why in uh, a few minutes. So, uh, just overkill the, that uh, thing. And yeah, I'm just pointing and just explaining the invisible uh, platforms that are here. And that little platform that are they're showing that the, where this water seems to be stopping me there. Uh, so, well, uh, yeah, X ray visitor, don't worry. Yeah, if you got the plasma beam, you already got the X ray visitor. Uh, so, yeah, just uh, following those. It's a uh, fucking screen uh, saver. And, um, yeah, just. Uh, I got a little bit confused uh, here uh, in order of the location of one of them. But then I figured it out all again. So uh, jump on that platform. But before you uh, go uh, jump into that one, which has the red door, you need to look on your left where there is a missile expansion, of course. Collect that thing, and uh, we're not uh, really done yet just go out and jump over there and this is why I wanted you to uh, wait until you have the plasma uh, beam since there's a red door here and I think it would be uh, stupid to just jump up there take that one and just go through the game until you get the plasma beam and just go up there again rather do uh, two birds in one stone right uh, we are back here in uh, face of mines uh, blow that thing up uh, with the power bomb, but yes, you need the power bomb in order to access this. So, and there we go. And here we have we are in uh, the yeah the Metroid area where do you, you see the force field and the Metroid and uh, starting off starting off our uh, face on hell. So you need to power bomb not one wall, but two of them. So yeah, just power bomb uh, both of them. Um, f follow this spider ball uh, track, which um, isn't so useful. Use your X-ray to, re to reveal a uh, short lift and yeah, collect our missile expansion. Uh. And our next one is uh, in the beginning of the lowest uh, level of uh, this area. You will see this. Uh, I'm shooting at uh, the place where uh, the missile expansion is hidden. Now, sure, the blue face on his face is damaging me right now, but if you're fast enough and have enough health, you are able to just get through it just fine, like I did there. This is uh, the room uh, before fighting the Omega uh, pirate. Your super missile open that and you will get it. And here you can get this on your way over here. This is just me backtracking in order to get uh, a artifact uh, in the uh, face on mining tunnel uh, where you needed a uh, face on suit in order to get there. Just bomb uh, that air Area, you will. Uh, the area is recognized by the mushrooms that are around it. Just use a regular bomb. Okay. Um, this is my way uh, over. Uh, that uh, from uh, after the Omega Pirate, the, just continue, take the elevator up and follow the path, and just follow this path. Make sure to have power bombs because this that's the only way to, to be able to open it. And we are in Mind Wars Cameras again. You rec may recognize this area if we got one of uh, the missile expansion. And use the X-ray yeah, visitor to reveal hidden uh, platforms. So, and there we have shoot uh, that away with a regular missile and collect another one. Um, let's see, next one. Next! Thank you. 
and this one is in Pandera Drift you're in this is like the starting area near the save point right there uh, to the right of when you go out save point you will see this little frozen thing just uh, shoot it with your plasma beam you will be needing plasma beam with this and just uh, grab it and this is in uh, Ice Rune East the, yeah thank you for thank myself for uh, showing the map but this is uh, the ones that I took after defeating the um, Omega Pirate and ending which is or rather in simple way taken after episode 32 so yeah just shoot that uh, ice thing with your plasma and get it. And in the same room, if you follow this path I, I take here, here um, let me see. Um, can you stop wasting time? Uh, yeah, you will see a spider ball track there. Just follow it and grab uh, the missile expansion. Now we have like uh, f uh, 35, which means we have 5, 10. 45, 40, 45, 3 left. We have 3 left. Oh my god. This video is going to be like half an hour long, but... the Oh well. The, I chose to do this myself, so... I only got myself to blame on uh, this shit. So, yeah. This is the room where you fought the uh, Tardis. So I think his name is the big uh, stone monster you fight after getting the thermal easter where you get the uh, spider ball from. And you will be needing the grapple beam in order to access this. So, so you swing like uh, a female Tarzan over there. Um, going through this tunnel. And just collect uh, the next uh, missile expansion. And this is in the room where you get the, the gravity yeah, suit. Gravity chamber, yep, like I show in there. Um, you see those ice things? Shoot that away with the plasma beam. Uh, take away the annoying enemies so that they won't be a bother. And just use a grapple uh, beam to uh, access to that. And now and here is uh, the very last missile expansion that I collect in this game. Um, yeah, this one is located in the frost cave. You will be needing a grapple beam once again for this one. You will see that little creature floating around, minding its own business. And yeah, the timing to uh, grab on into it is important since if you do it too early, you will just fall down. Do it too late, then you won't be able to do it at all. So yeah, once you're on the other side, jump there and shoot that thing down. Down. Uh, reminder, you can only destroy that thing and make it fall down from that point. Nowhere else. Or not where I think of. Anyway, just jump down. And locate it. And there we go. The last missile expansion. And that's it. The, I hope that you have been uh, enjoying uh, this little thing. Yeah, I will be doing energy tank and uh, power bomb location too. Those two will be in one singular uh, movie since uh, there are so few of them. I decided to do missile expansion in a separate since uh, they're like 49 of them to like 50 if you count with the when you acquire the missile launcher. So, this is uh, Kenna Langer saying goodbye and see you later.